I'm Dr. Benita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So today's video is all about the best sunblocks for children. Unfortunately on the market there's actually a lot of products for kids, marketed to kids, for example this one with brightly coloured you know, kids writing, which makes you feel like this is a very safe product to use. However, I have done a deep dive and I will be listing for you the best and why you should avoid some of the others. So if that sounds good to you, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll get cracking. Right, so when children are babies, so from zero to about six months old, I wouldn't even recommend applying any sunscreen. What I'd recommend are things like canopies, light blankets, umbrellas. Um, I'd recommend UPF 50 swimsuits, which basically uh, completely block UV from hitting the skin so that you know the baby's skin is completely protected. I also wouldn't come out in blistering heat. I wouldn't come out midday, for example, if you're on holiday. So that's the best thing to do for zero to six months. Now, UPF 50 was actually a bit of a revelation for me. I remember um, we were on holiday in Jamaica and my daughter was probably about four or five years old. We would put sunblock on her on her shoulders and everything, but she still burnt and you know, for Indians, we just feel like, you know, we don't burn in the sun and, you know, our skin shouldn't be peeling. But actually, when it's hot enough, it will. And it was a big mistake. So I remember one of my friends was with us on holiday and her daughter had this fantastic uh, UPF 50 complete UV coverage of um, a swimsuit. And so immediately, obviously, I went and purchased one for my daughter um, and she was fine for the rest of the trip. Actually, it turned out to be much better than the sunblock that we've been reapplying every two hours. So I highly, highly recommend, especially if you're out and it's a holiday and the kids are in that the water, sunblock just really isn't going to cut it. They really do need full protection in terms of getting the special sun um, swimsuit which protect you from UV rays. Okay, so what's the difference between kids sunblock and adult sunblock? Theoretically, it should be that the kids sunblock, um, the formula should be more gentle, they shouldn't have fragrance, that that's what it theoretically should be however after i did this investigation i realized this is actually not the case and it's actually in a lot of cases the same formula but one has got kids written on it so that's just a marketing trick um so let's dive in a little bit further when i choose a sunblock i will always choose a physical sunblock over a chemical sunblock and for children this is actually especially important. So when I say physical sunscreen, look for the ingredients zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. It works immediately from the second you put it on, it starts reflecting the rays away. You don't have to apply it 20 minutes before you go out. And as you all know, when you've got children, I mean, how on earth do you make your kids wait indoors while you apply sunblock, chemical sunblock, wait 20 minutes and then go outside? I mean, I don't know about your children, but my children you know, are just not that patient. So that's the first reason. The second reason is you're highly unlikely to react with a physical sunscreen as opposed to a chemical sunscreen. And the other thing I'd say is always, always make sure you go with a SPF 50 because I don't know about you again, my kids wriggle around when I'm putting cream on them. They don't like it. It feels cold on their skin. And I'm, you know, you're not going to get the same coverage that you can do on an adult. So always, always make sure you go with an SPF 50. The other thing is with physical sunscreens, kids don't really care if the cream looks a bit white on their skin and they've got a white cast compared to adults and females especially. Um, so, you know, slap on the physical sunscreen on the kids. Also that white cast is really good actually because you can see where you've put on the sunblock and which bits have been missed. This is where I actually don't like the invisible sunscreens that you spray on. You can't clearly see if you've put enough on and which bits you've missed on a child. So that's another important thing. So if you're wondering, okay, so Dr. V, I get that, but what is a chemical sunscreen? The words you wanna look for on the packaging are oxybenzone, avobenzone, octinoxate, 
homosalate and octocrylin. Those tend to be the most commonly used chemical sunscreens. So the positives with chemical sunscreens are that they do absorb into the skin and it doesn't leave that white cast. The negatives is you have to wear it 20 minutes before you go out. It can irritate the skin and there has been evidence of oxybenzone actually disrupting the hormone levels for girls um, and it encourages early puberty. And actually when I read that paper, um, I myself actually went to the sunblock that I was putting on my daughter and realized myself that actually I'm putting a chemical sunscreen on her. And considering that this evidence is out, I immediately switched. The other negative with chemical sunscreens is it can irritate the skin. So if your child has got eczema, prone skin, dry skin, or any form of dermatitis, it can feel like it's burning the skin or irritating the skin. So again, if that's the case, it's because it's a chemical sunscreen and you need to switch to a physical sunscreen. So the first product I'm going to recommend is Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. So it's got 21% zinc oxide. Don't forget zinc oxide is a UVA and a UVB block, which means that it's broad spectrum. It's literally the holy grail of sunscreens. It's simply the best ingredient in a sunscreen. In addition, this particular product has no fragrances, no uh, dyes and no irritating ingredients. So again, it's great if your child has got eczema or any form of sensitive skin or dermatitis. If you delve into the ingredients list of this particular product, I love that it's full of emollients and moisturizers. The only downside I would say is that it is expensive. This is a 20 pound cream that, you know, I just feel like that's a lot for a child, <laughs> but that is the only downside. Having said this, it's really important to know that physical sunscreens are more expensive than chemical sunscreens because zinc oxide is expensive. And imagine 20% of the product is expensive. So it is important to note, and actually when you go shopping and you go to your drugstore and you're looking for sunscreens, you're not gonna find a physical sunscreen. I get asked all the time, you know, what's the best sunscreen in a drugstore? They're all chemical. I've never seen a physical sunscreen in a drugstore or, you know, a pharmacy or a supermarket. Maybe this may change in the future, but right now in the UK, when you go to, your local pharmacy, it is all chemical sunscreen. So these physical sunscreens, you actually need to go and purchase online. And actually it's easy to buy, you can buy them from Amazon and I will link it for you in the description box below. The second product that I love, love, love is Aveeno Baby Continuous Protection. This has 21.6% zinc oxide. So again, it's a UVA, UVB block. It's also hydrating. So it's got glycerin and it's also got citrate cross polymer. So these are all positive things for the skin. Again, no fragrance and no irritating ingredients to the skin. So I love this product so much that I actually went and purchased two and I bought them for £11.57 um, on Amazon. And again, I'll link it for you below. This one is a winner. I'm also going to go through the things that shocked me about the other sunscreens. So the first thing I want you to do is go and have a look at the sunscreen you're using right now on your children. And these are the ingredients you want to avoid. Number one is denatured alcohol. This is very different, for example, from citral alcohol. Denatured alcohol is something you definitely do not want to be putting on your kid's skin. And guess what? That is what I found in this. Now this is Garnier Kids Sensitive Advanced for sensitive and sun intolerant skin. Denatured alcohol. I also found it in La Roche-Posay Kids um, Sunblock. Right, so the next thing I want you to look for in your sunscreen for the children is make sure there's no oil such as jojoba oil. Um, which other one did I find? Um, I found olive oil and that was in Think Sport SPF 50. You don't want to wear oils uh, that retain heat during the day. So again, it's just a bad ingredient to put into a sunscreen. You know, when you're going out and UV is hitting the skin and then you're reapplying this product every two hours. You have to be so careful when you're formulating sunscreens for this reason. Now, sometimes they try and confuse you and they trick you and they will put in a chemical sunblock 
plus zinc oxide you're reading it and thinking ah oh, this is this is physical this is fine but no because what they've done is they basically you know 90% of the product is going to be chemical and then they've just sort of added in a bit of zinc oxide to make you feel like this is a physical skincare product and I've seen this actually across the board um, so for example I've written some down baby Gannics and Sunsense Ultra for the family SPF 50 do the same thing. They both have um, octisolate plus zinc oxide in it. Just be aware that this is something that does also happen in order to almost confuse you. The two that I've recommended, I absolutely love. And to be honest, just stick with those. Stick with the, the one that I bought, which is the Aveeno Baby, which is only, you know, 11 and a half, 11, 12 pounds. So it's not, you know, ridiculous for what you're getting actually. Everything else, just read the back of the packaging and know exactly what you're putting on your kid's skin. That's really what this channel is all about, is to educate and empower you so that you understand what that fine print means at the back of the packaging so that, you know, no one can ever trick you or dupe you again. So I'm in the comments section for one hour after this video release and actually after every video release. So make sure when you subscribe, you hit that notification bell so that your questions get answered very quickly. Our videos, uh, because I'm starting to basically um, release a video a day, it becomes very difficult for me, you know, if you ask me a question a week later on a video I did a week ago. So that's why it's really important that um, if you are really into your skincare and you have skin of color, that you hit that notification bell so I know that I'm doing my best for you. The other thing is please do download your free guide for Skin of Colour. I put a lot of love and effort into it and it's really important that you have all the information that you need. Um, so you can literally just, um, I'll link it for you again down in the description box. If there's any videos you want me to make for you, please also write it down below. I've got about a hundred brands that I will be reviewing for you. Um, but if you've got specific problems, um, also skincare problems, please also write that down below. And, um, you know, I do my absolute best to answer everything and make a video on all your questions. Thank you very much for watching.